All right, welcome back to Indian Trace. I should say that making a video that features the artifacts of the North American Indian here in Eastern North Carolina is always, always an exciting thing for me. Of course, I got some top shelf points right here that I'm gonna make a mention of in a little bit. I mean, just pause this and take a look at it. Unbelievable to me, I mean, over the top favorites. And uh, we had a little bit of rain, and this is what it does. Look at a little bit of rain. Yesterday and today. But I'm so picky, and I wanted to share this with you just so you get a perspective. I'm so picky that I, did, I just didn't film any of this, guys. But, and, and you're going to see why. I mean, look at this great stuff as we go through it. I mean, great stuff in different varieties. This is what happens. This is the majority of what you're looking at right here. That's the majority of what's found when you go collecting artifacts most of the time. Sometimes you have a slamming day where you all of a sudden, boom, you'll pull out three smoking pieces or boom, you'll pull out two, uh, you know, and that'll be the way it is. But that's often not the case. Often the case is this, what you're seeing, which was today, I found a lot of it. Uh, after just a little bit of rain, uh, we're looking for more rain. Look at this point. But this, is the majority what you're looking at, of what you find usually. Nice points, field points, nice artifacts, tips. I'm trying to look through this uh, as I go. Haven't even looked at it. I pick it up, move on, move ahead. And look at this. Just some incredible stuff. This is my C4 artifacts. This stuff is open to move. Uh, and like I said before, I mean, you just, you just write me a note, say, hey, listen, what do I get for, you know, a whole bag, a whole box of that stuff? And I'll just give you a price and you send it on and we'll, I'll send it right out to you. I've done it to many people who, who like this. This stuff is not even cleaned yet. I mean, look at this. Just fine artifacts from the North American Indian. Worth saving. I don't want even this stuff you're looking at. And this is some good points, you know. There's nothing, nothing to, to be ashamed about. I mean, it's good stuff to pick up and collect. It keeps you satisfied out there. I mean, look. But at the same time, I'm not going to let it get busted up anymore. It's already been busted up enough. You know, what can you do? You do your best to save. And you know what happens once in a while? This. And sometimes more than once in a while. I don't know if my focus is coming out. There we go. Sometimes more than once in a while. So we're going to talk about those in a second. Those are definitely worth finishing with. Unbelievable stuff. A lot of this stuff you're looking at here came from the same place this did today. Not that it was cleaned out, it's just, you know, some days that's the way the ball bounces. It's just the way it works. Many of you collectors know that. I mean, look at these, some great artifacts. Great sections where you relieve and not taking too long just on this stuff. Long pieces here, like Guilford's. Didn't even wash them. Quartz pieces, triangles relieved on the back. Good stuff, even scrapers such as this. So uh, I'll either put it in my koi pond or, uh, you know, I've had more than one person just step up and say, hey, man, I want all that. Uh, what's the deal? And I'll, I'll send them a deal and or I'll give them an email address and we'll just strike up a deal and they'll say, that's it, man. Consider them mine. And uh, they have them now, you know, and it's great because uh, then they're admired and they're passed on and people can do some things with them. But... Man, this is some great artifacts right there. I mean, look at this. Nothing wrong with that. Yesterday afternoon and today. And yesterday afternoon, I really didn't find much at all. Uh, today, I found, you know, a good handful here or there. So I'm happy about that. Now, let me finish up. I mean, look at that. That, I just want to give you a real perspective uh, of what you find when you go out. You see this a lot on Indian Trace. You see me film this because, I, of course, it's film worthy. If you're out there and you find a piece happens to look like one of these, of course, got to film it. But that's why you haven't had any live finds lately because uh, I've been just surfing up to these type of things and I've been too picky or it's been raining and uh, I just didn't bring myself to, to film the find, you know. So there you go. That's what that is. Now look at these. We're going to go right around the circle. Today, I'm going to go in counterclockwise. Look at this piece. This was found at Mecca. 
where all of those other pieces for the most part came from. Uh, just a great piece. And I had somebody put a shout out to me yesterday, make a great comment and said, thank you for working so hard at the close-ups because he happens to, uh, to try to replicate, to craft this stuff. He is a master artist that uh, actually flakes points. So I'm gonna do my best just with a small little handful to get a close up to show how these things are made. And he knows when he looks at them, how they're made. This is an interesting piece right here. I love it. Love it. Look at that piece. Nice piece. Found that in site seven, which is, I don't get to it that often. Look at the flaking on it. Here's a piece that I found at the Archaic. If you've been on Indian Trace, you've heard me mention it. It's a fantastic point. Rhyolite special today. Just rhyolite. So these are what you're out there for. If I'm out there, and uh, I'll, I'll collect a lot of this, like you see. And uh, But this is fine for me. Gifts, give it away, what have you. Put it around the koi pond. Uh, some people uh, who don't find a whole lot, I mean, it's fantastic. But you can't even... Uh, some people are in places they can't even find any. So the way it works with me is I go out there looking, picking that stuff up. But what I'm doing is looking to add one, maybe two pieces like this to my collection. Look at this piece. This piece here was found at Mecca. Love this piece. A lot of these were found live. And so if you go back in time and check out my videos, you might be able to locate it. Just wanted to give you a clean close up of these. For Ken, and for those who are nappers, want them to see the authentic stuff, and you can see exactly how they made this stuff. Uh, love the reliefs off the back and the notches, and you can really see how they do it. Great pieces. Sailing right on, another piece from the same area at Mecca. It's just uh, somebody there. Many people there were good point makers. I love this piece. Always have just been a personal favorite, the size and shape of it. Rhyolite special going on today. I'm trying hard today to do a close-up of how the way they're made in the bases and the reliefs if I can. Uh, for you, Ken, I uh, appreciate all that you do for honor because, you know, I've really just found out recently that, uh, and it blows my mind, that some of you are living in areas where you find so little throughout the year uh, that I feel, uh, if I don't do my best to share it or to give away a lot, I just feel selfish. Look at this. Because um, some people just don't have the opportunity to find so much of this really great stuff. Uh, which I, I don't even know how to put into words. It's just, it just makes you real thankful. But at the same time, I mean, I ache that you would be able to get out and, and, and find some of this for, for yourself. Maybe that won't ever happen. But uh, hey, I'll do what I can to share, you know. That piece, again, was found in Mecca. It's funny. Look at this. Mecca. 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 That's why I call it Mecca. Don't know if my focus is working. There we go. Mecca. Mecca. This piece, nope. Site 6, a place that I call uh, the Cascade. Just love this piece. Give you a look at it as we roll on. Perfect lighting in here you can see where they hafted it just stuff that was usable perfect stuff and one of my favorites found in mecca again right here is another point sort of a marl mountain straight base love it now mecca is huge it's not some little spot that's putting out a ton of these points it's an area that was just well used either as a hunting ground or a population spot or a campsite Look at that piece. Jim and a Christmas, right? Anyway, that's a good show of everything. Don't want to take too long always, but long enough to really give a good feature of stuff. That's Indian Trace right there. My gracious. But at the same time, that's Indian Trace right there. It's, it just doesn't need to be out there and get broken up anymore. It's a good use for all of it, you know, whether it's these, nice base here there's a good place for all of it if you will <laughs> and fantastic
points like this that put it all over the top, put it in perspective how magnificent it can be. I can't even get this stuff in the viewfinder to focus. There we go. Appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace. And that right there. Well, to me, that's as good as I've been able to get. Hope you find out there.